What's the best way to overcomplicate grilling? Make a meat thermometer that logs temperatures to your computer. This actually helps me track and understand how different types and cuts of meat behave throughout the smoke. Learn how to make Grillbot today on John Built Science. First, I started by modeling a case in Fusion 360. Get the SDL file, see the link in the description below. Then I printed it on my aging MakerBot Replicator 2. One of these days, I'll get myself a respectable printer. Starting the assembly, I add brass threaded inserts to the chassis that holds the PCB and the case together. Smoking and grilling meat is one of my many hobbies, and I'm constantly searching for ways to improve. With my longer cooks like brisket, I want to be able to go back and review temperatures over the whole cook for different cuts. Building something like Grillbot allows me to capture that data in an easily digested format for later review. Let's now talk about the electronics. The core of this is an ESP32. A simpler microcontroller would absolutely suffice, but it's what I had laying around. All that's needed is something with at least two analog-to-digital pins and serial connectivity. The thermometers themselves are just thermistors, and so I use a voltage divider circuit so that the ADC pins can determine the temperature based on the voltage they register. Now while you watch me do some more assembly, let's talk about the software. In the main application loop, I take a reading from both thermometers and add the values to a special union structure that allows me to convert the double values into a byte array. Then I convert the byte array to a base64 string and print the value to serial for reading by the host computer. To read the temperature, there are two key functions. The first, called take reading, accepts the pin number and then reads and averages a few pin readings. The second, called calculate temp, converts the pin reading value to a Fahrenheit temperature. To see the full script, check the link in the description below. With assembly complete, it's time for testing. After hooking up the Grillbot to my computer, I can check that it's working by opening a screen session on the serial device. As you can see, I periodically get base64 strings printed in the terminal over the serial link, which stops when I disconnect the device. Next, let's check out the Grillbot project we're building. The main executable accepts a few flags, which I'll document in the GitHub project, but here I'll start with the basic configuration. Once it's up and running, I can pull up the web interface and see a plot and live readouts of the temperatures. There are also fields to fill in additional metadata and add calibration values to true the thermometers. Now it's time to test it out on a real brisket. Note that, note that this is not a whole pack of brisket that's normally used for smoking. It's just a smaller flat that I picked up to make this video. With the smoker running on my laptop and robot rig, there's not much else left to do but wait. A few hours later, I've got a delicious brisket, and now I can keep closer track of how each brisket and other meats I smoke cook over the day. Thanks for watching, and subscribe for more videos on John Builds Things.